I am here today with Dustin Evans at Rocker Spirits. He's the owner and manager, and uh, we're going to give you a quick tour of this distillery. Hi, Dustin. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank do you want you. to tell us a little bit about your place here, and then we'll do a quick walkthrough? Yeah, Rocker Spirits is a new micro distillery in old downtown Littleton. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the difference between a distillery and a brewery. But a distillery, we make whiskey, rum, vodka, tequila, or agave spirit, or gin. So we make the spirit side of it. Okay, no patrons, we are open Wednesdays through Saturdays, 11 to 5, excuse me, 5 to 11, and Sundays, 11 to 5. So we have a 2,000 square foot tasting room where we serve craft cocktails, wood fire Neapolitan pizza, and then the rest of it is our manufacturing. It's about a 5,000 square foot building, so the balance of that is our manufacturing and barrel. Relations start in this room right here, which we call the still house. And in the still house, it begins right here with the mash kettle. The mash kettle is basically a big crock pot. This is a 600 gallon mash ton, and we'll put about, we make a corn and wheat whiskey, we'll put about 600 pounds of corn, 250 pounds of wheat. We'll cook that for three or four hours at temperatures vary between 170 to 190 degrees. And that breaks that car, that's carbohydrates and those starches down to simple fermentable sugars. And that begins a process of what's called sacrification. After we are done produce, or cooking the mash here, we'll transfer that mash into a fermenter and we just pump it in. These are 530 gallons of mash. We'll put it in here. We'll introduce our, our yeast. And that yeast then starts to consume all the sugar that is in that corn. And they, they eat that yeast. The yeast eat all that up. And they burp off CO2 and alcohol. So after we've sat for about three to four days, the yeast has run its cycle and consumed all that sugar. Then we'll take half of a ferment, run it through the still, and at that point what we're doing is we're bringing that ferment up to temperatures and we're trying to separate out the alcohol from the water by, by hitting different boiling points. Alcohol boils at about 148 degrees. Fahrenheit and water boils at about 212. So if we work between those boiling points, what we do is we're able to extract the alcohol from the water and run it through the distillation towers. These are called reflux towers. This is called a whiskey column. It goes through four plates of distillation. If we're making vodka, we'll run it through this tower, which is 16 plates of distillation or reflux. Um, the difference being much higher proof coming out of an alcohol column and it will be a grain neutral spirit, a spirit that has very little odor or very little taste. That's what you're trying to achieve with vodka. Whiskey, we want to leave behind all those flavor profiles of the corn, the wheat, the rye, because that's what gives whiskey its flavor. After we've run it through here, we'll collect it in this tower which is our condensate tower. And that's where that hot vapor comes in here and collides with the cold water. The vapor recondensates and what comes out of this parrot head is clear fluid, whether it's whiskey, rum, vodka, gin. After that, we take it in the back and we either filter it and proof it down for vodka or we barrel it and let it age for whiskey. So we can show you the barrel house next. That'd be great. Okay. Let's do it. We just got a load of new barrels in yesterday evening, so we're just getting ready to fill these barrels. So what we have in these totes here is about 146.2 proof white whiskey that we're about to transfer from there into the barrels where they will sit. These are number three char American oak barrels. So we'll transfer that spirit into here and it will sit for three years before we ever bother it. 
And these are barrels that we already have barreled, and they're sitting aging. So we have some bourbon, we have some rye, we have some pork finished whiskey that we're doing, and then we also have some rum that is aging in our used whiskey barrel. Sometimes people say some things out of jealousy. I'm gonna keep on.